I'm Anil Kumar and here is an excellent question on application of the area of segments which you have learned so far. The question here is, what is the volume of water lying in the given pipe of radius 3 meters, right? So, so that is, that is the water for us, okay? So we need to find the volume of this water. What we are given in this particular case is that the pipe has a radius of 3. So so if this is my center then joining this center will be will be kind of a triangle whose radius is 3 right so this is what is given to us we need to find volume of the water so to find the volume of the water what we can do is we can find area first right of the water in this this is called segment and then multiply with the length of 10 meters to get the volume correct so first step for us basically is that we need to find let me make a big circle here well it's not that all that good but still i think it can work for us let us say this is a small this is our chord in this particular circle let's say that is the center okay so i'm trying to make it slightly bigger so that you know it helps to write down all values and calculate so in this particular situation what we will do here is we'll find area of uh, the segment so this this portion here is called the segment so we'll find the area of this which is segment once we find area of the segment we can multiply by the length to get the volume I hope you get the concept so at this stage you can actually pause the video and answer the question so what we have here is a triangle whose sides are 3 centimeter now that's an isosceles triangle radius is same so it is going to divide this chord into two equal parts since uh, 4 is the total length each will be 2 right and let us say this angle for us is um, we need to find this angle correct so let's say this angle is theta for us okay let's find the angle first so we know from this triangle let's solve for the angle so we say sine theta is equals to 2 over 3 right so sine theta is 2 over 3 that means theta equals to sine inverse of 2 over 3 so let's find how much theta is so we have sine inverse within brackets 2 divided by 3 equals to 0 0.729 let me write down here is equals to 0 0.7297 so it's good to take four decimal places it is all in radians okay so we found the angle so this is uh, let us say center o let me call this point a and b and let me call this midpoint as as m so in that case, what is OM? We need to find the height. We know the base of the triangle, correct? Which is 4, 2 plus 2. So OM, we can find now we know the angle using cosine, correct? So we have cos theta equals to OM over 3 or OM equals to 3 times cos of this angle, which is 0 0.7297, right? So let's calculate OM. So we already have the angle, we'll say cos of the answer and uh, we'll multiply that by 3. So we get 2.236, so this is 2.236, okay, 2.236, so that is OM for us, okay. So that gives us the area of triangle, so now we can say area of triangle which is AOB is equals to half of base AB AB is 4 for us right B times height which is OM 2.236 correct so let's calculate this value we already have 2.236 well multiply by 2 right 4.47 four seven two one okay so that gives us the area of the triangle well these were too many calculations at one place I hope you understand what we did right so first 
step was to find area of triangle. So it is what are we trying to find? Area of triangle OAB, right? Which is half base, which is AB times OM, the altitude, right? So AB times OM. Now we did all this to find what is OM, right? So we have to find what OM is and that was found to be this much using cos, right? So this is the calculation we did. Now let us find area of sector. Okay. Now to find the area of sector, it is the ratio of total area to the angle, correct? So each angle is theta. So we know angle AOB will be 2 times theta, right? Theta and theta. So that is 2 times, we just found 0 0.7297, right? In radians, correct? So all these calculations are in radians. We'll do 2 times 0.7297 equals to, this is in 1.4594. Use four decimal places, right? That will be good for you. Okay, so we know the angle now. So area of the sector is, so now we are saying area of the sector. That means uh, kind of like this. So let me just sketch it. It would be good, right? So it's kind of, kind of like this. That is what we are trying to figure out. Is equal to total area, which is pi r square. Let me write formula first. Times, in our case, angle theta divided by 2 pi. So our angle is theta plus theta, 2 theta. Let me write angle AOB, right? That is better. Divided by total angle 2 pi. Perfect. So in this case, we are given radius as 3. Okay. So 3 square. Angle given to us is 1.4594 divided by 2 pi. Okay. So let's calculate. We already have 1.4594 in the calculator. We'll multiply that by 3 square, which is 9. And uh, pi and pi cancel. So we'll divide this by 2. So we get 6.5673 as the area of sector. Well, my calculations could be wrong at times. So, But at least the method is correct. I'm sure about it. Correct? So what you do is you do your calculations once again. Right. Okay, so now let's find area of segment. So area of segment, which should be how much? Which should be area of sector? Okay, okay, we'll do this. Okay, we have this color here. And take away the triangle itself, okay, to get the answer, fine. So we'll take away this from this. Okay, so we are taking away from 6.5673 the value of the triangle area which is 4.4721 and that is equal to how much? Okay, one value is there minus 4.4721 equals to in decimals 2.09 so let's say 2.1 okay that's good. So we get area of the segment as 2.1, perfect. And the length is 10 meters. So volume of water, let me now write down here, that's good job. So we've done the area part first, right, which we wanted to find. And now we say volume of water, right? It is how much? It is area times length, right? That's the formula. So in this formula, we found that the area of segment is 2.1 and will multiply by 10. Okay, now there is a mistake. Mistake, I mean, this area is in centimeters square. Okay, remember that. So this is 10 meters, right? 10 meters. Oh, no, no. Uh, okay, this is also in meters. Uh, I'm wrong. So this was meters. Good for us. So it is, okay, good. So we are saved. Well, at times you have to take care of the units. In this case, both are meters. Everything is in meters. So, so we are not wrong. It's okay. So it's meters square. Let me write again. So 2.1 times 10, and that gives us 20 meter cube, right? So meter square times meter. So this is in meter square. This is in meters. 
and you get volume as 20 meter cube right but I hope with this example you understand all the concepts those are kind of important you can actually review how to find area of triangle sector and segment uh, with the help of this example thank you and all the best